Hello all, welcome to the SolidWorks tutorials. In this video, I am going to show you how to draw the parts and assembly of footstep bearing. Open SolidWorks, click new and create a new part. Select the front plane, click sketch and draw the profile. So I am going to draw the right side profile and I am going to use the mirror command. Go to smart dimensions, the overall height is given as 20 mm, the overall length is 240, so at the right side it is 120, the sliding distance is given as 2 mm. Now we can go to mirror entities, entities to mirror select the three lines and mirror about the center line click ok now i can click this line and make this as construction line so go to features click extruded boss i'm going to extrude this with respect to mid plane and the extrude width is given as 160 mm next i'm going to create the groove here so select the surface click sketch and draw a rectangle go to smart dimension the rectangle width is given as 115 and the rectangle is at a distance of 19 mm from the edge and it is located at the center so this distance is half of the width it is 115 by 2 then the central gap is given as 12 mm okay. now draw a construction line to create the mirror click this line and make this as construction line go to mirror entities entities to mirror select the square box and mirror about the axis line go to features click extruded cut and cut this to a width of 2 mm next i am going to create the pocket so select the surface click sketch select the pocket and draw a pocket here Go to smart dimensions the overall length of the packet is given as 22 so in between the centers it is 22 minus 16 and the diameter is 16 so the radius is 8 mm this is at a distance of 38 mm from the top and the left edge is at a distance of 30 mm okay now we can go to linear sketch pattern in the x-axis 2, similarly in the y-axis also 2, entities to pattern, select the pocket and the gap is, so the overall is uh, 240, already we have provided 30 in the left side and another 30 in the right side and 6 mm as the length of the pocket and in the y direction flip the chair direction and in y the overall width is 160 so already we have provided 38 and another 38 for the bottom side click ok now go to features click extruded cut and choose through all so now we have created the pocket next i am going to draw the circular surface so I'm going to revolve this, so for that I'm selecting the front plane, click sketch and uh, I'm going to draw the profile, so I'm starting from the inside, so go to smart dimensions and mark the dimensions, the outer diameter is 115. So the radius is divided by 2 
Similarly, here the diameter is 84, so the radius is 84 by 2, and here it is 88 by 2. Similarly, the bottom radius is again 84 by 2. The top length is given as 10 plus 6, so 16. Then the length of this region is given as 45. And the bottom length is given as 14 mm. So to do all this, I'm going to create a construction line. So click this line and make this as construction line. Go to features, click revolve boss. Click OK. Next I'm going to create the cut here. So select the top surface, click sketch and uh, draw a rectangle. Select the point, select the edge and make this as coincident. Mark the dimensions. The width of the cut is 10 mm and the length is 3 mm. Go to features, click extruded cut. And uh, remove the material up to 10 mm. OK. We can draw the bottom hole. So select the bottom surface, click sketch. Draw a circle. Go to smart dimension. So the circle diameter is 5 mm. Select the two edges and make this as horizontal. Now select smart dimensions. Mark the gap between these two points as 16. Go to features, click extruded cut. So the cut depth is given as 6 mm. So now I have created the hole. Right click on the material and apply the material as cast iron. Now save this as part number 1. Now close this. Click new, create a new part. Select the front plane, click sketch. Draw the profile. So I am going to revolve this. Go to smart dimension and mark the dimensions. The bottom diameter is 84, so the radius is 84 by 2. The top diameter is 95, so the radius is 95 by 2. Then the internal diameter is 80 by 2, that is 40. Then The diameter of this region is given, it is again 80 by 2, that is 40. Now we can mark the internal diameter, that is 60 mm, so the radius is 30 mm. Okay. Now height wise, the height of this section is given as 12 mm. And the height of this region is given as 45 mm. The overall height, so before that, I can click and drag this. Okay. Then go to smart dimension. The dimension of this region is given as 16. Similarly, the top height is given as 18. The internal height is given as 12 mm. 
So these two lines are collinear, so you can click control, select these two lines and make this as collinear and click control, select the origin and select the point and make this as horizontal. Now it is fully constrained, select a center line, go to features, click revolve boss and revolve this. Now I am going to make a cut here, I mean a extrude here. So I am selecting the surface, click sketch. So we don't need to create a sectional view, it is already visible. So draw a rectangle, the rectangle width is 10 mm and the height is 3 mm. Click control, select the edge and the point and make it as coincidence. So go to features, click extruded boss and extrude this to a width of 10 mm. Now right click on the material and apply brass. Now save this as part number 2. So close this, now click new, create a new part. Select the front plane, click sketch and draw the profile of the disc. So click this and delete this line. Go to three point arc and draw a three point arc here. Go to smart dimension. The total height is given as 16. The total radius is 60 and the I mean diameter is 60 so the radius is 30 and the arc radius is given as 150 mm. So you can click this point and you can drag it. So to make this constraint I am drawing a construction line, a vertical construction line. Now click control select the line and the curve and make this as tangent. Now go to features, click revolve boss select the center line, click OK. Now I am going to create a hole here, so select the surface, click sketch, draw a hole, the hole diameter is 5 mm and the hole is located at a distance of 16 mm from the center. So click control, select the two centers and make it as horizontal. Go to features, click extruded cut and cut this to a width of 6 mm. Now right click on the material and apply bronze. So there is no bronze here. So you can go for edit material. Go to copper alloys and choose bronze. Click apply and close it. Now you can save this as part number 3. Now close this, click new, create a new part, select the front plane or select the top plane, click sketch draw a circle of diameter 60 mm and extrude this to a height of 90 mm. So the height is not given so I am providing 90 mm. Now select the right plane, click sketch, draw a three point arc from the edge point to the center axis and close the entities. Now draw a construction line from the edge, so a vertical construction line. Click control, select the line, select the edge 
and make it as tangent. Now go to smart dimensions and mark the radius as 150 mm. Go to features, click revolve bars, select the center, click OK. Now right click on the material and apply steel. Save this as part number 4. The last part is the pin. So select the top plane, click sketch, draw a circle. The pin diameter is given as 5 mm and the pin height is 12 mm. Right click on the material and choose steel. Now save this as part number 5. Now I am going to assemble it. Select create a new assembly. So I am starting from part number 1. Go to insert component and insert part number 2. Go to mate. Select the cylindrical surfaces and choose concentric mate. Then select the edge of the groove and the edge of the extruded part and make this as coincidence. Similarly, the bottom face of the groove and the bottom face of the extruded part and make this as coincident. Now go to insert component and insert part number 3. Before that, we can assemble the pin. So you can insert the part number 5. Go to mate, select the two cylindrical surfaces, choose concentric mate. Then the bottom surface of the part 1 and the pin and make it as coincident. Now we can insert the third part. So we can drag this outside. Go to mate. Select the outer surface of the pin and the hole provided in the third part and make this as concentric. Now the bottom surface of the part 1 and the bottom surface of the part 3 and make it as coincident. So finally I am going to insert the shaft. So insert part number 4 that is shaft. Go to mate. Select the two cylindrical surfaces. You can drag this. Now go to mate. Select the top surface of the bush and the bottom surface of the shaft and make it as concentric mate. Now we have completed the assembly. Thank you.